Hello, I'm David Chaston, standing in for Bernard Hickey again today with 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the government has decided to borrow to fund the Christchurch Crake reconstruction, and this will add another $10 billion to our already growing public debt, and further delay when the public accounts were back in surplus. A universal reconstruction tax seems to be off the table. That debt may top 30% of GDP by 2014, although it must be said that a level like this is relatively low when you make international comparisons. Overnight, the New Zealand dollar sank and is currently down to 71.75 US cents. Actually, our dollar is basically back to where it was at the low point of yesterday morning's rout. Currency worries are very much on the mind of the big and powerful. Japan may be about to intervene to try and stop the yen rising, and the G7 is currently in an unscheduled huddle trying to figure out a response to contain the currency crisis. Sudden currency changes can be inflationary, and overnight India raised its official benchmark rate by a quarter of a percent to try and hold back inflationary pressures there. Their move, in the face of the Japan quake shock, reinforces that many public policy people are in fact more worried about rising consumer prices than the fallout from the Japanese disasters. U.S. consumer prices were released overnight, and apart from a spike in food and energy prices, overall inflationary pressure there was modest, a modest 2.1% year-on-year. The food component rose markedly, however, although a good part of this was reversing declines early in the year. And in Japan, there is little progress to report. The nuclear catastrophe has not yet happened, and there are reports of water finally getting to the reactor rod areas. But local and international concern remains at high levels. The US is especially critical of Japanese management of the crisis. We still seem to be in stages of increasingly desperate measures being taken. Bernard Hickey will return here on Monday, although he'll be filing stories during the day. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand.